Noita 1.0 is out. And not only did it meet my expectations by adding a variety of very hype features, but it completely exceeded them by adding a new game mode, extremely fun Twitch integration, biome modifiers like darkness or electrically charged, temperature simulation, new alchemy, new spells, new perks, and new secrets, etc. But this game can be pretty difficult, not only for newbies, but also for those of us who may have played for quite a while. So I've collected a few useful tips and tricks for 1.0 that might help flatten the curve. After those, I'm going to go on an example run to showcase some of this using the new daily practice game mode. And then at the end of the video, I have a couple slightly more spoilery tips for the more advanced players out there. Thank you very much to Nala Games for developing Noita and also for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in the game and you haven't yet checked it out for yourself, check the link at the top of my description. Let's go. The Concentrated Mana Potion has a very useful secondary property. It quickly converts metals to steam, allowing you, especially early game, access to areas or power-ups that otherwise might be locked away. The giant anvil and hisi base can be used to repair the broken wand item, giving you sometimes a very nice wand in return. This anvil has other uses, but I'll get into that in other upcoming, more spoilery videos. The new holy mountains come with a few interesting additions. The statues on either side of the area can be used not only as target dummies to test your damage output, but if you happen to anger the gods and thus have to deal with Steve, this guy, then an effective strategy is to attempt to sneak past him and make your way to the statue here. You can kick it to hide behind it, wait for Steve to come around, and then strike. Like I said, pretty effective. Speaking of Steve, if you happen to choose the Peace with Gods perk, any Stavari you encounter from then on become your personal tanky bodyguards. Finally, we have Stinky Meat, which is what the corpses of the Polymorph Masters are called. Eating it will grant you immunity to all Polymorph for a time. You can even swim in it if you really wanted to do that. Time for the daily practice run. Start a run from a randomized spot with randomized items. You can try the same seed as many times as you like within 24 hours, which is very, very nice. Again, at the end of the video, there's going to be two more kind of spoilery tips. So stick around if you want to see those. Projectile repulsion field, explosion immunity, pretty decent HP, pretty decent gold, and then... We, uh, this is a shuffle wand, so we don't want to use that first. We're going to use this. I actually ran through this seed really quickly, or part of it, in order to, uh, capture footage for one of the, uh, tips. The anger the gods tip. And it seemed to be a really good seed, like, and this is the seed of the day. Just today. And it just so happens that I'm recording this video today, and we start with a broken wand, so it's perfect for showcasing certain things, including, well, I wonder what these little, stop shooting me, I wonder what these little strange looking, like hand-shaped, meditative looking stones are. There's two of them right here, I wonder what that is. Interesting. Maybe we'll talk about that soon in, a, an, in an upcoming video. For now, I'm just going to continue down this way. We're not really going to be speedrunning, but I want to kind of get through this. Well, let's get some water. At a brisk pace in order to showcase a variety of things that are new in the game, including we got to anger the gods. We have this acid wand, which is amazing. Uh, this, probably, probably not going to use this. I'm just going to dump that in there. It's got a trigger on it, which is nice, but... All right. So, okay, I'm going to move this there because that's like our damage dealer. We don't want that. We don't want to use that much until the end, probably. Uh, and I'm going to try rerolling. Perfect. All right, let's get no more shuffle, which is not very necessary for these wands, but it'll still be. It's nice. It's one of my favorite perks, even though they've added some new ones that are amazing. Let's go. We gotta charge or fix this broken wand. 
the phasing perk. If we see that, if you see the phasing, ah, oh, nice. We could do this too. If you see the phasing perk, it's really nice for avoiding damage. Uh, so, of course, this is really nice as well, but this doesn't, I think neither one will protect you from uh, very, very fat. Ah, buddy, don't go in there. It's not nice. <laughs> Ow. Neither one of those will protect you from really fast projectiles, but the phasing, I don't know. This helps against a lot of projectiles, but phasing is really cool. They, the projectiles just kind of go through you, including like the, hey, the Heesey gank squad. Uh, hey, buddies, heal me up a little. Hey, don't, don't kill, no, don't knock me in there either. Stop it. Don't shoot my friend. That's my friend. Here. See, let's come over here so I don't accidentally go in the portal. Here. They heal. They're my friends. The Pinkies. That's what I call them. That's not their real name. But it's nice having two of them together like that. Uh, we are out of Berserk. So that's fine. No problem. Kill you. Uh, and then right here. Nice. Uh, let's just get ready to run so we don't get hit by that and let's see oh my god we got tentacle cthulhu nightmare uh yeah so that's a very nice wand so broken wands now have definitely a use this thing right here has more of a use than that but that'll be in another video as well because it's very spoilery it's one of the Couple, couple really big spoilers attached to that. Uh, let's not use that. This is crazy. That is crazy. Super crazy. Okay. I'm sure that was a shuffle wand, but we got no more shuffle. And now we got plenty of water. Let's just get that stain on us again. Just because I don't have fire immunity. Uh, but we do, yeah. We have electricity, uh, I mean, electricity immunity and explosion immunity. So this, we can shoot this everywhere without damaging ourselves because the blast is an explosion and then it also does, obviously, electric damage. Nice. Uh, let's go. Keep things like that. I gotta use this real quick, see what it's like. All right, time to, yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. You have an acid trail on that? It looked like you did. Oh my god. Well, this can happen. We gotta wait until things settle down a little bit. Uh, where did your wand even go? Is that- that's polymorphine. Let's not touch that. I don't know where his wand went. It looked like it had an acid trail on it. Speaking of trails, I seem to have- oh, there it is. I have a- a rat tail. <laughs> Cthulhu rat tail. Stop it! Do not die. I'm telling myself that. Oh, it, it's a mimic. I kind of figured it was because it was kind of off the ground a little bit. There are ways to tell if there are mimics. Just don't do that. I'm glad that I... No acid trail? Oh, well. Maybe it wasn't an acid trail I saw. No. Woo! Don't go down there. Yeah. It's kind of... The poly is hiding. We do not have any... Uh, Stinky meat. That's a regular? No, that's a mimic, too. I just want to get out of here. I need to... Stop. What is going on with you? That was crazy. I never saw one spray that fast. The thing was going nuts. This. You're going to find some of these in the jungle. They're new. Also secret related okay i need to tuck in my mullet man come on we're gonna wait to anger the gods until after uh this next area we're gonna go and uh showcase this burning or melting or turning metal into steam i think that'll be good uh let's get more happiness i want things to be happy Boom. More love, I mean. I always call it more happiness. More love for everyone. And onward. 
into the vault. Now, we got these guys, uh, and them. We gotta avoid them. And the toaster ovens. These things heal you, or can heal other things. Very oh my god! No! It's a nightmare. It's a real, true... I'm sorry, you must be taken care of. Why? Ow. Uh, acid, go away. Let's just... Here, I gotta melt. Melt metal. And what better way? Let's see if we can find a... Uh... Oh, hi. I don't want pentacles again, so we're gonna have to use this. It's alright, we should. We, we're immune to him. We're immune to explosions and... Oh, this is what I was looking for. We'll go up and around, probably. This music. The music is new, too, and it's epic. All of the new music everywhere. Very fitting. And I keep spraying water on myself so I don't catch fire. I think I already said that. Alright, so... With... Concentrated mana. Wow, it got caught on my rat tail. Look at that. Look how fast it just melts through that. What do we have? Here? No, I don't want that. So that was pretty quick. How about acid, which is what I used to use? If you don't have almost the same, I think maybe acid's a little bit slower. Very similar, though. But yeah, it gives more of a utility. I mean, obviously drinking or staining yourself with concentrated mana is uh, maybe the intended or, you know, the main intended uh, method. That's toxic sludge. We have immunity to uh, electricity, so this guy can't hurt us. Aha. I don't think it has a melee attack. Aha, that music. You know, I'm trying to record a video. So rude. Stop it. I'm just gonna spray. Spray and pray over here. I don't know if I... Oh, there you are. I, I gotcha. I think you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Hopefully we don't get cornered by anything. All right. Oh, you. How nice. I will take some more gold. Uh, It's fine. You can have that. It's my offering. <laughs> we lost our rat tail. I guess we're going to have to get another one. <laughs> All right. Only one, though. Only one. Let's go. Whoops. Okay. Rat tail it is. We got a multiple rat tails. And let's... Let's see here. Let's, uh... I'm gonna... Let's anger the gods. We don't need this. This makes you immune to fire when you hold it, but it also... Yeah, there we go. We angered the gods. Here comes Steven. Uh... I'm just going to grab this stuff now. I don't have enough money to buy any. I don't want this. All right, Steven. Let's show the nice people how we do not mess this up. And you're going to be a nice little Steven and let me. Please. Thank you. Don't you like my fashion? Okay. Of course, Steven, my, my, my rat tail might ruin this for us. But hide back here. Allow Steven. I'm just gonna hide. I don't have melee immunity. <laughs> he can't hit me, though. I don't want to kick the statue yet, because... Okay, there we go. Now we'll do it. His tentacles are saving him. So do not cast personal tentac tentacler if you want to do this. <laughs> How long is it going to hit you for? Or how long is are you going to have tentacles? Ow. Jeez. All right, let's take that off there. I mean, that's interesting. Come on, go. But, uh... Yeah. The personal spells, personal fireball thrower, personal tentacler. <laughs> Woo! They last for quite a while. So, uh... Look at them. Isn't that... Jeez, it reminds me of, like... I don't know. Let's go, though. So we failed that. It's fine. But, I mean, I showed that anyway in the tips part of the video that you can very easily... Uh, 
I guess let's take concentrators. Go away. Go away. All right, it wore off. Now let's do it. Ow. Come on. It's fine. There we go. See? I did it. Okay, now we can go. Uh, perfect. Just be very careful with that. That was funny, though. Um, I do not have uh, melee immunity. I'm just gonna... We only have 177 HP, so I'm gonna kind of race through this. Uh, Alright. Go down here. The tick enemy. Ow. Used to... Oh, wow. You killed that for me? Thank you. Those little ghost ticks used to do melee damage. So melee immunity would protect you, completely protect you from them. But now they do like a phantom damage or something. I think all ghosts do. I haven't tested it thoroughly yet. But yeah, it's not melee anymore with like those ghosts up there. Hello. Uh, Stay away. So even if you have melee damage, you can't touch them, which is nice. I... I'll, I'll say that. It is pretty nice. Uh, wow. Let's get some acid. Hey, you cut that out, buddy. Don't make me... Zappy zap. Cut it out. I don't want to teleport. Ow. We have 114 HP. We got things closing in. I don't have melee immunity. Don't rob me of this. All right. All I need to do is keep these things away from me. Oh, get in the pit. Go down there. Why? Come on. All right, good. Now let's just kind of... All right. And we're at the end. Perfect. Perfect. All right. We're not going to use this. I'm going to put that in there. Grab some more water. Might need it. And... Okay. I'm not buying anything here. Hello, Steven. Hey, I'm over here. Yes, that's perfect. That's perfect. I didn't go... Ow. Yes, I'm over here. Even though I kind of went through the seed a little bit to record uh, a tip, this is amazing. This is perfect. Now I can showcase this, too. Hey. You're my friend. Yes. See? Steven, come here. Get out of there. Get out. Okay. Now. I'm going to try to use acid against the boss. We do not want to use the tentacles. I don't I don't think we want to use tentacles. Uh Alright. Get him. Ow. So acid is very, very effective against the boss. It has a shield, obviously, so we gotta kinda... Yeah, go and fight. You guys fight. You guys fight. I need to hit you with some of this acid, though. Cause you're gonna kill Steve. Oh, you got babies now? Uh. I'm gonna spray water down here below me, just in case. <laughs> just in case. Come on. Alright, there we go. Woo! I don't want to, because I'm spraying acid all over the place, I don't want to fall into the... Here, I'll finish you with a tentacle. Yes! We got our rat tail for the win. What is... Oh, it's a baby. Ow. It jumped out and bit me. <laughs> I gotta see what happens. I, I don't think I've ever ended the game with a rat tail before. Or with a tentacle. Yep. Just turns to gold. Alright. Anyway, I just zoom past the credits. There we go. Hopefully I showcased a good variety of new things and such. Let's uh, now return to the tips, like I said. Here, let's go down here. And if you were ever wondering what the cryptic high scores were in the beginning of this early access period, beginning of the game's lifetime, life, uh, there were people who data mined the game and they found a file that told them, it was a text file that said, hey, congratulations for cracking the code and everything. If you promise not to release any of the information you found in the code of this game, 
until this date, we promise to put you in the credits of the game. And not only that, but also enable uh, experimental mod support, like, immediately. So everyone was cool and didn't didn't leak any information until after that date, that initial date. It was great. So that's what the cryptic high scores are. And my score. There we go. All right, let's go back to the tips. Two more, kind of spoilery. Let's do this. One of the more difficult aspects of the game can be the relatively small amount of healing options. Well, if you're willing to trek up to the main cloudscape over the lake, you can follow the wall until you find this small cave guarded by a shotgunner, in which you will find a pile of refreshing gourds. Can be thrown to deal damage. Upon breaking, releases a refreshing aura. What does that aura do? Casts a short circle of vigor to refresh your HP. And finally, if you find yourself in either one of the works late game, you can go shopping. For around 7,000 gold each, you can buy an assortment of some of the most powerful and crazy spells in the entire game. And that's that. I hope you guys are all enjoying 1.0. It's an absolutely amazing update. Thank you for watching. I want to thank Nala Games again for sponsoring this video. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.